friends how are you doing oh my goodness it has been ages i know it's been ages since um we've connected via live but i pray that this broadcast you know finds you well in good health in good shape or in happy shape and um all is well with you showing you a bit of a skyline of um manila over here let me try to i think we're online right okay we're online hi <laughs> shalom kapirim hola amigos mabuhay mga kaibigan and i pray again that you're doing great so i'm just stopping by real quick to greet everybody um at least from my part of the world in about what time is it it's almost six in the evening here in Southeast Asia and so in about six hours we are stepping into at least according to the Western uh, is it the Gregorian calendar to the new year year 2022 okay 2022 and, and um, 2021 has been an amazing crazy ride right Shabbat Shalom Et alofa, girlfriend. I hope you're doing great. And first of all, even before we start talking, right? Just a little bit of a um, catch up with everybody here. Um, I pray as well that you enjoyed your Christmas wherever you are celebrating from. Um, whether it's with family at home or, you know, with your great friends or even on your own if you want that serene space. I pray that you enjoyed your uh, Christmas season this year. I know it hasn't been the easiest for some of us, um, especially for the ones who have, uh, you know, lost loved ones or um, are in not the best shape. Um, I just pray for the Holy Spirit's comfort upon you and your household at this time. Um, but I really do wish that at this time, right now, as you see this broadcast, that you are in a better mood or, or better spirits, yeah? And I pray that this video encourages you. I just wanted to encourage someone today. That is the ultimate goal of this life, all right? I missed you all for the past few months. I'm sorry if my hair is not the best, by the way. But um, yeah, uh, showing you the skyline of Manila, right here philippines shalom hola 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 and uh, the word for today that the lord has given me this morning my mom was listening to a worship song earlier and the song was rattle that was the title of the song and and basically wow it was just in my spirit the whole day it talks about our god being alive you know and our god being able to do the impossible as he has said in his word and so um one of the things that the lord reminded me as i was praying um was you know every struggle that we have is a source of strength for tomorrow and so i just wanted to encourage you with that word we all have our setbacks we all have our own struggles we all have our own pains we all have our own you know imperfections and and sins and and you know Things that we're not proud of or that are keeping us low or down in life. But I'm encouraging you right now that, you know, the Bible says in, in the book of Corinthians um, that the grace is sufficient for you. God's grace is sufficient for you. For his power is made perfect in your weakness. Therefore, boast all the more gladly about your weaknesses so that... The power of Christ may rest on you. And that's why for Christ's sake, right, as believers and as Christians today, we delight in weaknesses, in insults, in hardships, in persecutions, in difficulties. And if you are in a space right now of, of you know, it's, it's a tough space, um, it's not an easy time for you. I just want to encourage you that in your weakness, the Lord is strong, you know, um, and in my life personally, I get encouraged by this word whenever I feel down um, and whenever I find myself struggling to get through just for the day, right? Whatever you may be going through, we all have our own, you know what I mean? We all, we all have our own set of struggles, but how this gets me through is I remember that, listen, my God is alive today. 
My guys alive 2,000 years ago, my guys alive even before the world has been created. And even tomorrow, the next hour, the next second, He continues to be alive and His word continues to be true in my life today as He has spoken. And all the time, all the time, all the time, moment by moment, moment from moment to moment, I always cling on to the promise that whatever He has said in His Word, right? Whatever He says in His Word will never return to Him void. Meaning to say, pag sinabi niyo to sa salita niya, it will always come to pass. Whatever He says in His Word, it will always come to pass. So if the Word says, in your weakness He is strong, you have to believe that. You have to cling to that promise. You have to um, speak life to that, right? Speak it, speak it into existence, knowing that in your weakness, God is strong. Because when you find yourself in a place where you can no longer bear whatever it is that you're trying to bear, right? Whatever it is you're struggling with, you no longer have people you can, you can um, count on or, I don't know, circumstances is, is just really shaky and it's not turning out the way you want it to be. It's not ideal. It's the time that the Lord breaks through, right? It's the time that you remember, listen, He's never left your side. The Bible also says He will never leave you nor forsake you. And so if that is you today, you're feeling alone and you're feeling like there's nothing to it. This life has nothing to it. Fret not because there's a reason why at this very moment you are still breathing. God has a divine purpose for you. And I'm talking to myself too. Right? This is a message for myself as well. Um, again, this year, the past two years, I don't know, uh, different backgrounds, different um, seasons in life, right? Puts us in places where we question life's purpose. But again, I want to encourage you right this very second. The reason why you're breathing right now is because there is still a mission. There is still an assignment. There is still a purpose specifically for you to step into and to fulfill in this lifetime. Okay? I'm not saying life will be easy. I'm not saying life is easy. If it is easy for you, then I, I am rejoicing with you. I'm happy for you. And I'm really genuinely glad that you are enjoying the space in your life. But if you are struggling right now, if you are in pain, if you are hurt, if you are in a spirit of fear, I just want to encourage you that in your weakness, God is strong. With every struggle that you experience today, that will be your source of strength for tomorrow because God has said so. I have been a testament of that in my life. I continue to be a testament of that in my life, not to say that I've done it or I am done with struggles and, and weaknesses in my life, but that's to say that every day, every moment when I face my own battle, when I face my own set of struggles personally in my life, I remember the strength of God yesterday that gets me through today and will get me through tomorrow. So I just wanna encourage you, friend, family member, brother, sister, amigos, haverim, God is with you, okay? Finish this year strong. Remember this whole year, again, we've all had our, our um, you know, our buckets of, of um, pains, trials, but we also have had our shares of, of joy and, and blessings and those moments of, you know, thank you, God, that I'm alive today. Thank you, God, that you spared me from this. Thank you, God, that you spared my loved one from this. Thank you, God, that... I have a shelter uh, to, go, to go into. I have a bed to sleep onto tonight. I have food that I ate this morning. You know, I was able to talk to someone today and encourage someone today. Those little things, those little moments um, are, are to me like spiritual reminders really and, and milestones, uh, if you will, right? R reminding us that God is alive. God is sovereign. And God has his eyes upon you, okay? And so, before we step into year 2022, um, I just want to wish you an amazing 2022 um, in a few hours, again, from Southeast Asia, where I'm, I'm coming from at this time. Uh, and stay strong, stay encouraged, because our God never fails. Our God is eternally strong. 
our God is eternally sovereign. Whatever this world can show you, whatever this world can throw at you, whatever this world can give you, our Lord can turn those around, right? Our Lord can always break through in your life and show you His sovereignty. Just believe, trust, and have faith that He will get you through this, okay? If it has not come to pass, it means the end is yet to come. Do you know what I mean? So why is that encouragement? Um, it means it's coming soon. You're a day closer to its fulfillment. You know what I mean? Just just hang in there. You're not alone. We're all in this together. Um, God loves you. You are seen. You are valued. Um, you are loved beyond measure, overly abundantly, more than you know. No words can even uh, describe and, 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 and your mind can't even imagine, right, what the Lord has prepared for you um, in this lifetime. And so if you're struggling, fret not. If you're uh, in a challenging, tough space right now, be comforted that our Holy Spirit is with you all throughout. This year, you have survived this. Listen, you're standing today, but by the grace of God, hallelujah, can somebody say amen real quick? You are standing today, but by the grace of God and because of the grace of our God. And so be encouraged. The reason why you're standing today, the reason why you're surviving today, why you're still breathing today is because God sees you. God has a plan for you and God loves you. Okay? You have a divine purpose to be fulfilled for the next year, for your 2022. And so don't be afraid to step into this new year with your chin up, knowing that your God loves you as is where is. You've sinned, it's okay. Ask for forgiveness, repent, clean slate. That's the beautiful righteousness of the blood of Yeshua. That's, that's the power of God and, and what He can do for you. As long as you take that step of repentance and coming closer to Him and really acknowledging His sovereignty and Lordship upon your life. I've seen it to be true. I continue to see it in my lifetime. And I will never give that up, whatever happens, because it is the truth. The truth is truth. And, and that's the truth. God loves you. There is hope. There is a plan. And there is a future curated by your creator only for you to live in this lifetime. Okay? So I want to encourage you with that word. Um, and I pray that you are encouraged. And why don't we all just say a quick prayer before I cut this live short. Hallelujah, Bino Shamaim, our Father in heaven, I just thank you so much for this beautiful, blessed time that you have allowed me and my friends to be uh, sharing together right now. I thank you, God, for technology that you continue to use this powerful tool to connect people from around the world, to share your word, to bless people, to encourage people, to... Just comfort people, God. I thank you, Lord, that words are powerful, that, that you have given us this capacity and this ability, wow, to bless someone, to anoint someone, to forgive someone, to encourage someone, God, with, with words. And I pray, God, that whenever we open up our mouths, God, we, we use it for your glory alone, that we never forget that this life is a gift. That's why it's called the present, right? And I pray, God, in the name of Yeshua, that as we continue living this life today, that we continue to also surrender it today to your hands. And God, as we step into the new year, 2022, I pray that everything that we've gone through this year, Lord, we don't forget, we remember. But we remember in a way that our, 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 our faiths are, are strengthened more, you know, our hopes are built more. And our visions towards the future are just encouraged more because of your grace that has sustained us throughout the year. If you have sustained us this year, God, what makes us think that you will not sustain us next year? And so I thank you, God, just for being who you are, for being the God who you say you are, the God of Abraham, Jacob, and Isaac, the God of this world, Lord, the God of every nation. We call upon the God who says he is sovereign, who says that he is faithful and who says that he will make sure that every word that comes from his mouth will come to pass. 
And so we thank you, God. Binibigyan pa po namin kayo ng papuri ngayong araw na to. And we thank you for what has happened. We thank you for what's happening and for what's to come. You are our hope, Yeshua, in our lives today. And God, I just declare that over my friends today in the name of Yeshua the Christ, whoever is broad, is who's watching this broadcast right now, Lord, may your spirit of comfort be upon them right here, right now. Especially to the ones who've experienced loss. Especially for the ones who are physically ill right now. I pray just for, for healing. Ruach HaKodesh for um, Holy Spirit that you touch their, their, their bodies right now. That you regularize every cell. Lord, may they feel strengthened physically. But more than that, Lord, feed our souls. Feed our spirits, God. We can't live each day. We can't survive each day. We can't survive a year without your grace, Yeshua. And so I thank you just from day to day, year to year, you continue to be faithful, you continue to be strong, and you continue to be the Lord who you say you are. God, we're excited for what 20 sec 2022nd has in store for us and for this world. Because Lord, um, this is who you are. You always just top your glory from glory to glory. And so if you have kept us you know, strengthened this year, surviving this year, Lord, I know you're just going to top that up next year. And so we place our faith in you. We place our, our hope in you, God. And we thank you for what's to come in the name of Yeshua the Christ. Amen and amen. Happy, happy new year. Blessed new year to all of you. And again, be encouraged, okay? Your struggle is your source of strength for tomorrow. In your weakness, His perfection is seen that was that's what the bible says okay so the bible even says boast about your weaknesses because if i am weak then i am strong i get to see the strength of my god in 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 my weaknesses and so be strengthened be encouraged we're all we're all here together for each other i bless you i pray that you get to enjoy your last day of 2021 and i will see you next year <laughs> Hopefully, physically, wherever you may be, sending shalom, mabuhay, and hola from Southeast Asia. Happy, happy new year, friends. God bless you. God loves you more than you know. More than you know. Believe it, okay? Believe it. Be encouraged. And I'll see you soon. Bye!